We're going to take a look how to use this free tool called Points Yeah to find a summer vacation for the family. And in this scenario, uh, we have four people in the family and we're wide open to traveling anytime during summer break. Um, but we want to fly business class and we want to fly to somewhere in Europe. We're not that particular about where in Europe we go, but we want to go to Europe as a family in the summer. I'm going to show you how to find uh, at least the outbound flights, and then you can use what you learned here to try to find the return flights. So let's pretend uh, that you uh, live in the Cleveland area, and that's our starting point. What I like to do when when the uh, search is wide open like that, when you could go anytime to almost anywhere, I like to start with a tool called Daydream Explorer. Once you've logged into Points Yet, even as a free account, you can use Daydream Explorer, which I just clicked on, and uh, and find flights like what we're talking about. So, so let's say we uh, are sure that we want to fly in business or first class. We want to fly from Cleveland. And we want to go to Europe. And let's say that the school break ends, uh, or school break starts, let's say, around, uh, I don't know, June 20th maybe. So we, we can leave any time from uh, the evening of the 20th to the end of uh, summer when school begins again. Now, uh, Points will let me do through August 18th in one search. And it's very easy to uh, expand that search to more. So, so far I've picked where I would wanna go from and broadly too, I picked that I want business class. I picked a date range to look anytime in that range. I still need to say that there's four of us. So I put, pick number of seats four, apply. And I want it to be mostly premium cabin. What I mean by that is, I don't want it to be a really short flight, let's say Cleveland to New York in in first class and then economy across the ocean. I want it to be going across the ocean in business class and the other flights, if there are others, can be in um, economy, which, which would be fine. So that's what we want. We select everything, press yeah. And uh, right off the bat, we see uh, one that looks attractive. We see uh, a flight for less than 60,000 points and about $13. Um, the next one <laughs> is uh, using Advantage Miles to fly to Dublin, uh, which at first looks attractive. It's, it's uh, 57,500 miles per person, but nearly $800 in taxes and fees. So uh, to get rid of results like that, we simply click on this filter, max taxes, and let's say we don't want to pay more than $400 per person. Yeah, let's make it even smaller. Let's say we don't want to pay more than $200 per person, and that greatly limits what's what's available. You could see there are flights um, to Lisbon, Dublin, um, Madrid, Frank, and Frankfurt that are all available maybe now why do i say maybe because what this tool the daydream explorer does is it's uh stored results from past searches and that's why it can do uh, the searching so quickly is these are past searches results uh that other people found um and didn't necessarily use and uh but it's possible that those awards are no longer available now. So the idea is use this to find awards that might be available and then we'll drill in and see if they really are. Um, looking at the different options, it looks like Cleveland to uh, Lisbon looks good, let's, let's say. It's only got one stop, so that looks nice. And it's showing, uh, th there's a number of things happening here on this screen. It's showing, um, two different flights, uh, two different options, I guess. One only has three seats left, so that won't work for us. Um, both of these are flying Cleveland to Toronto to Lisbon. And what's the difference between these two is only that in this first one that says nine plus left, it's saying that the first flight on flying Air Canada to Toronto, that first short flight is going to be an economy. But the second flight, the long flight, um, is, is uh, on TAP Portugal, and that's in business class. And it believes there are over there are at least nine seats left in business class on that route. That's amazing. Um, 
so the other thing you see is that it says the price is 57,710 points <clears throat> uh, plus 1291. And it also tells you about a 15% transfer bonus from Amex to Life Miles. So that's all good information. And so what we can do now is uh, check with real-time search to ensure up to second availability. So let's see if th this flight is really still available. Now, what's happened is by clicking there, this has gone to the uh, regular part of the Pointia award search tool. This is where you put in a from and to destination. You can't say, I want to go to anywhere in Europe. You have to put the in you know specific airports, um, but it'll let you do a range of dates. Uh, the free version lets you do four date range, four uh, day range, and the paid version will let you do an eight day range. And it pretty quickly searches a whole bunch of programs to see uh, what's available. And it's still, still going a little bit. It says, oh no, your dream flight is no longer available. Um, so that's a shame, but that's interesting because it still shows it through United, but not through Life Miles. And, um, United is more expensive than Life Miles. And, um, if you don't already have enough United Miles, you can transfer from Chase or from Built. Uh, transferable points to United to get them. But if you don't have those uh, programs, if you don't have points in those programs, you might prefer to do Life Miles. Um, I'm going to do something that seems a little silly, but I'm just going to... Um, oh, you know what? When it was checking this, it changed it to one passenger. Let's put back four passengers. So that seems to be a bug in this. It should have set it to four passengers business class, all airline programs. All right, let's do that and see what we get. You'll notice it's still doing, it's doing a range of dates, June 25th to the 28th, but what was the date that it actually found? It was June 26th. All right, so strangely, <laughs> strangely that flight came back. So I don't understand uh, why the life miles, uh, result disappeared when we were searching before for just one adult uh, and came back when we switched to four. But um, that tells me a couple things. One is that uh, the results from these searches are not foolproof. And that's something I know from using just about any tool. Um, things seem to change mysteriously like that from time to time. So it's not foolproof. But the other thing that it tells me is we better double check this on the Life Miles website before we trans transfer any points to Life Miles. We better make sure that this is really bookable. So what I'm going to do is I, I am logging into my Life Miles account. If you don't already have a Life Miles account, you want to just create one. It's free. And then I'm going to do a award search to see whether I can find that same flight. So I'll go to travel. And this only works after you're logged in again. I'm going to travel a uh, flight one way from Cleveland to Lisbon. And what was the date again? It was June 26th. So we're going to go June 26th. And there's four people. Finalize. Let's see what, what we find. All right, it actually is here. So it shows that you can book um, this one flight in economy uh, from Cleveland to Toronto. That's nonstop uh, flown by Air Canada. And then you can, uh, from there, fly tap Portugal uh, to Lisbon in business class for a total of 57,720 miles and uh, about $13 in taxes. <laughs> Big uh, caveat there, uh, Life Miles is really weird in that it doesn't always show the total amount of taxes and fees. So once you have enough miles to book this, be warned that the taxes and fees might increase a bit. I don't think they'll go up to astronomical levels, but 
um, don't be uh, surprised if they go up a bit. This is the only program I know of that'll show you a price with taxes and fees, and that's not necessarily the final. The problem is I can't show you what it actually is because I don't have enough life miles uh, in my account right now to uh, continue past this point. But this is good enough to know that uh, this is actually bookable that uh, for uh, 57,720 life miles per person. So now you can go to your transferable points, your Amex points, your city points, your Chase points, uh, uh, not Chase, uh, but Chase doesn't transfer to Life Miles, but a bunch of programs do. And then you can uh, transfer in the points that are needed and then come back to Life Miles to actually book it. Now that only got you one way. So uh, when you're ready to do the return, I'm not going to step through the whole thing, but you can uh, go back to Daydream Explorer and and put in here that you want to go from um, Lisbon no I'm sorry let me let me broaden that there the chance of getting a flight from Lisbon specifically to uh, Cleveland is very very low so um, I'm just gonna put in uh, Europe to Cleveland and we're going June, what was it, 23rd or something like that. So maybe you want to stay a week. So maybe uh, any time from 28th to maybe you're, you're okay staying more than a week. Let's go to midweek. Um, then you can repeat all of the uh, things that I did before. you setting the premium cabin, um, setting the max taxes, and number of seats to four and and then um, see what's see what's there. Now it didn't find anything that met all of that criteria. That doesn't really surprise me. Um, what you what you could do instead is uh, try how about going from Lisbon to uh, the United States? and see whether uh, see whether there are any good flights. And it looks like there are um, some at least. Like So for example, United can get you to JFK. Then you could separately book the flight from JFK to Cleveland in that example. Um, so there you go. That's uh, a process you can use to book a summer vacation for your whole family if you're flexible with your timing. <laughs>